Artwork Canvas is a great place to create shapes for digitizing. Make sure that you have your Hints Docker open and do take advantage of the videos that are loaded into the software. Lots of them are on basic shapes and basic transformations. We'll take a look at some of these basic shapes. Just click and use the flyout menu to access all the shapes and you'll notice as you select a shape the hints will change to allow you to view the information on creating those shapes. We'll start with a basic rectangle and I can draw a rectangle by clicking and dragging. If I wanted a square I'd hold down the control key and that would constrain that to a perfect square. If I want to make changes to the shape I'll access the reshape vector object icon. If I click on one of the nodes and drag that allows me to change that shape and you'll notice that we have an interactive toolbar at the top and the toolbar will always change to reflect the shape that you are working with. Click once to get the sizing handles. Click again for rotation. Let's take a look at one of the other shapes like a star. If I click to drag a star the interactive toolbar allows me to change the number of points of the star. I can also use the reshape object icon to change the the properties of the star and that is also available when I have the select tool and I can hit the space bar to get the select tool back quickly and I can change all of these properties of the star in the interactive toolbar. To fill with color just click on the shape and click on a color from the color chips. If I need more colors press and hold and that activates the additional colors available. Let's take a look at the basic vector shapes. If I use the fly out menu. We have arrows, banners, callouts. Let's take a look at the basic vector shapes. You want the red, green, and blue shapes and if you just click and drag that gives you one shape and it does have an interactive node where you can change the properties of that shape. If you want more shapes come up above to the toolbar and this is where you can create parts. I can create happy faces, lightning bolts, and just click on that particular shape and each one will have a node where you can change the properties of that particular object.